about authority that the legislature granted and determining whether or not that was the original intent when it was granted and whether or not that intent granted by the legislature, not some inherent thing that was deigned on the office of the Attorney General to a constitution, a one sentence that says there shall, the Attorney General shall be the lawyer of the state of Mississippi. Okay, fine. The Attorney General is the lawyer of the state of Mississippi, but that doesn't mean he gets to call the shots. I mean, we're talking about the Consumer Protection Act. We're the ones that passed that. We, de we declared that shot to take. 25 states have exempted regula regulated activity. And why is that, ladies and gentlemen? This bill simply says that when the legislature gives the agency the authority and responsibility to regulate activity, insurance rates, utility rates, that, and that those agencies are to determine what is allowable and not by business. So we have a public service commission. Just happens to be a majority of Democrat control. Three members, two Democrats. If the question is, is a matter of rates by a utility provider, should they be sued in court or shouldn't they go back to the Public Service Commission and let the Public Service Commission handle it? If the question is a matter of rates by an insurance company that's regulated by the insurance commissioner, shouldn't they go back to the insurance commission and have that matter resolved through the agency process and the rules and regulations? Twenty-five states say yes, and here's why. Because attorney generals throughout the country have taken was supposed to apply to a day-to-day -day purchase, a small consumer purchase. Attorney generals throughout the country have taken these laws as an alternate means to extort money out of businesses. That's it, plain and simple. Now, you can argue about all the money that's brought to Mississippi, but here's the thing. This change wouldn't stop a lawsuit. What this does is stops a lawsuit under the Consumer Protection Act. Still file a lawsuit and go forward and seek whatever damages you seek, but you're not going to do it under the guise of the Consumer Protection Act. That's what this bill will do, ladies and gentlemen. You know, businesses that are regulated, businesses that are regulated have the right to believe that the agencies that are regulating them that give them the orders to proceed, they ought to have the right to know and be confident that when they have been given that order by the agency to do business, that somebody's not going to come in behind and sue them for doing exactly that what the agency said they could do. Now, how can a business do business when you're constantly looking over your back, constantly looking over your back when you think you're doing right, when the agency says, go and send no more, engage in business, here's the model, here's what you've got to do, and then you turn around and you get a lawsuit from the Attorney General that says you're violating the Consumer Protection Act, and you're like, wait a minute, the agency told me I could do this. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we talk a lot about fairness and reasonableness, and we talk about, well, so-and-so's running for this and so-and-so's running for that. I can tell you my point of view with regard to what the Attorney General should and should not do, and we can talk about that till we're blue in the face, but I want to tell you this. One person is affecting public policy in the state of Mississippi to the point that it affects economic development, and gentlemen, it affects monies in the coffer and revenue. And if you think blood money is what gets us there, I've got to tell you, it's not. California, New York, each have, one has 55 and one has 53 corporate headquarters in their state. They have the highest taxation. They have the highest regulation. They have the highest unionized workforce. 53 corporate headquarters in their state. How many does Mississippi have? We have. We're in the top 10 for business. We're in the top 10 for all of the environment, uh, business environment. We do not have one corporate headquarters of a, of a Fortune 500 company in the state of Mississippi. Not one, ladies and gentlemen. We lead the country, however, in public policy lawsuits. Our attorney general is A, number one, in suing every business that won't stand still. Every one, ladies and gentlemen. We're in lawsuits that we don't have anything to do with. We just want to be the lead plaintiff. Hire another buddy. Give him a fee. These are no bid, contingency. See, no lose contracts. These lawyers don't lose any money on these things. They got the whole state of Mississippi behind them. And if you think $33 million is a lot of money, it's not. That's the little that they got laying on the ground waiting for you to come by and pick up.
We call that a bird nest on the ground, ladies and gentlemen. That's all that is. And we ought not pay a nickel for that. We ought to just call them up and say, give it to us. But yet we want to get paid. Now, who got the money out of that? Not a little Mississippian that we're worrying to trying to protect. No, not at all. Not at all. It went to the lawyers and came to the general fund, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. Nobody got compensated back home. Well, maybe we do software manufacturer and they did something wrong on their advertising that was terrible oh my gosh and the state of mississippi got some money the lawyers got paid and the consumer got a coupon for 20 percent off to buy more software from the company that ripped them off in the first place now come on people all i'm telling you is if it's regulated you ought to have a right to know that if you're following the agency directive and you're following the order of that agency, you ought to have a right to know that you're not going to be sued by the Attorney General for doing that which you were authorized to do. Let's pass this bill. All right, gentlemen, has yielded.